Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. By the time you're seeing this video, most likely we are no longer home. I know for sure we'll be in Ottawa, but I'm not quite sure yet if we'll be in Italy. However, I do wanna film this video because you guys seem to really enjoy a lot of my like baby content. <laughs> and since we'll be doing a lot of traveling and we've had Harrison in our lives for six months, almost seven months now, we've taken him to a lot of places. We've done overnights at a couple of our friends' places. We've traveled back to Ottawa. This is going to be the very very first time that we are leaving Harrison for an extended stay in Ottawa. He'll be staying with our grandparents for three weeks while Peter and I travel to Italy for our honeymoon. I want to do a kind of like pack with me style video to show you everything that we stick into his bag that will help anybody who takes care of him survive on a daily basis. Also me too, just kind of like a pack with me for a getaway. Either it's like a day out or a weekend trip at a friend's place, at a cottage camping, or in this case for us, it's gonna be taking him back home to Ottawa to stay with our grandparents for three weeks. Either way, I wanted to share with you all of my absolute essentials and must have in his little bag here. So you guys are gonna pack with me today. So let's just dive right into the video. All right, so first off, the essential to anything is a massive bag, anything that is easy to wipe down. It doesn't have to be waterproof, but easy to wipe down is a must. You never know what type of surfaces you're putting these bags on. So you want to make sure it's nice and easy to sanitize. And I like to use a massive bag because sometimes you fit more, sometimes you fit less, but I'd rather have a big bag to have more space to throw stuff into than to have a small bag and constantly have to size up whenever I need to throw more stuff in. Big bag it is. Babies, of course, wear diapers. And we regularly have to change his diapers, so it's really important for us that we have a portable changing pad wherever we go. I actually got this one as a gift. This is from Pear. I love it. It's a really great size. I've changed Harrison in like a myriad of places already, whether it's in the backseat of our car, the tiniest washrooms to the most like luxurious and fanciest washrooms out there. This change pad has been a lifesaver. I love this one because it has so much padding, so it makes any surface that I put him on just a little bit more comfortable, but it's also really easy to wash down whether we just wanna like sanitize it with a quick wipe or throw it into the wash. We've done it all. This one is so freaking sturdy. So to match the change pad, we also have this kind of like on the go pouch bag and we also have a little smaller version as well. I'm gonna share with you guys what's in each of them. In here is everything that is quintessential to his diaper changing process. I'll run you through exactly what we've stuff in here and you'll just see why I'm gonna explain why we need everything. So in this bag, first thing that I put in, diapers. This may seem like a lot to some people, but Harrison has a UTI and he goes through through diapers like no tomorrow. He gets super fussy whenever they get soiled and we don't change them fast enough. So I always like to pack extra so that we don't have to rush and go buy some more because that has definitely already happened to us at least once. We love the Huggies diapers. We currently stuff anywhere from like 10 to 15 in his to-go bag just to make sure that we have enough for a day out. So far, I believe the most we've ever used in one day is like 10. But my biggest fear is to run out of diapers and have to buy a brand new bag, which Peter once did already. So I don't wanna have to end up with too many diapers in one specific size since Harrison is still growing and constantly changing in diapers. So we try to be as efficient and think ahead as much as possible and always pack spare diapers so that we just use up whatever we have available at home first. Next up, you cannot forget the diaper cream. We chose to use pseudo cream. It's been working well for us. We always keep one tub with us in his bag whenever we're on the go, just so that we don't have to constantly like pack and unpack stuff every time we go home. I just like to grab this bag and go whenever I need to. So this is going into the diaper pouch. And then to go with that are a handful of Q-tips. I already have some lying around here from last time, so I don't need to stack more. I just like always leave like 10 to 15 Q-tips in this bag so that our hands can stay clean when we are changing his diaper. Last thing is you want is dirty hands because you don't always really have somewhere to clean your hands off. So yeah, Q-tips are the way to go. And then of course, wipes. These are the Kirkland ones. We've tried like a bunch of different wipes. He doesn't really have a preference. So we just typically like to get whichever ones are available to us. We recently picked up these Kirkland ones. So this is going into the bag. Also pro tip, always pack a half bag of wipes, never a full one, just because they get really heavy and you don't go through like 50 wipes within one week. So I always try to save whichever wipe bags are at home that are kind of slowly depleting and put that into our travel bag so that there's less for us to have to carry around. And then the very last thing, if you have a boy, you will 100% want to pack this cloth to cover any potential accidents because you never know they will do to you on the table as you're changing them. So always pack extra cloths. I have spare ones that always go into this bag and that is everything that we need for his diaper change in a pouch. Zip her up and into the bag she goes. Next up is the little pouch. So along with potential accidents, you never know when you need to potentially change your baby. So I always like to keep a couple of spare extra clothes in this bag so that if I need to by chance, if he has 
a diaper explosion or an accident on the table, I can change them very quickly and not have to leave them in soiled clothes for too long. At the moment, I just have this like short sleeve little zip up because it is summer and very warm here. And then I also have this long sleeve one in the case that the weather gets a little bit chillier. We always have like options for us to play with. And then also if he's hot, we just don't put on pants. But if he is chilly, there's a pair of pants for him. All of these ones are currently from H&M and Zara for kids. We've been getting a lot of our clothes from both of those stores because they have really well made and fairly decently priced clothes for kids and they just look really cute too. Zip up this pouch and into the bag goes. I should be creating like an ASMR video of just me like zipping up pouches for this bag. If you guys can't tell, I am a really compartmentalized person and I like to organize things into specific uses so in pouches. So it's just easy for me to grab them out whenever I need them without having to like mix things up. Next thing is a little bit for me and a little bit for Harrison, but very, very important. So as you guys know, I breastfeed Harrison and we also bottle feed him too so that the responsibility can kind of like interchange between myself and Peter. It makes it easy for me because either I can feed him or Peter can feed him if I'm busy doing something. So number one, is my Philips Avent double electric breast pump. I do not go anywhere without this. Like if I ever need to leave the house beyond two hours, I calculate in my head, how many hours am I gonna stay out for? Am I gonna go in between a pump session? If the answer is yes, this bad boy is coming with me. So there are two different versions of this. Mine is the rechargeable battery one. So you can pump on the go, which has made my life so easy. I kid you not, I have pumped on the train on the subway, at a friend's house, at a mall. I've literally pumped everywhere. So because this breast pump has a rechargeable battery, it just really makes it easy for me to pump on the go and to never have to worry about where am I gonna find an outlet to plug into the wall? Or am I gonna get engorged because I haven't pumped in six hours? It's just get yourself a battery charge one, your life will be changed. Trust me. Add to the fact that Harrison now sleeps through the night, so he doesn't need to be fed in the middle of the night. And I definitely wake up in the morning super engorged if I don't pump. If we're gonna be spending the night away, I 100% have to bring this with me. That way I can like pump in the middle of the night to kind of like alleviate the engorgement a little bit. And then there's always like milk in the fridge for Peter to feed Harrison with. If I wanna sleep in in the morning, can they give that responsibility to him? I think it is amazing to be able to hand off the responsibility to dad so it doesn't always fall on my shoulders. Another thing I want to note about this one, I have been receiving surprisingly an amount of comments from friends and family who have noted how quiet this pump is. They told me that the one they used to pump like decades ago, the pumps that they used were the noisiest things in the world and it's weird to them how quiet my pump is. So if you're a little bit apprehensive to pumping in public, I promise you this is a very quiet one and you will not be drawing any attention to yourself because of it. If anything, you may draw attention from people who actually already know that you're pumping, wondering what in the world you're using because it is so insanely quiet. So pro tip for you guys, if you were traveling with this pump and you are packing your bag to go knowing that you will have to pump for the day, I would recommend creating a little pump situation for yourself first so you can easily pump it into your pump when you're out and you're not like fumbling around with pieces. It's just grab and go. That way if you're feeling engorged, you can release that pressure right away. I also recommend bringing some sort of like zippable, closable bag with you so that after you pump, if you don't have access to clean water to rinse out everything, I just throw all the dirty pieces into here and then I bring an extra lid with me to kind of like seal the bottle once it's done. And then that way, everything that's clean versus dirty can be separated. Your pump session is complete. You're welcome. If you guys are ever curious as to like what my pump cycles look like, I can do an entire video on that. I actually plan on doing a whole like breastfeeding journey video. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. But I do want to mention that I only really do 20 minutes at a time each time I pump just because of the natural motion technology that Philips uses. It just makes the whole pumping process so seamless and efficient. I don't have to sit around fiddling with all like the settings each time. It memorizes the settings, by the way, in the machine. So you don't have to reset it every time. And it just like flows. Like your milk just like flows out of you, collects so quickly, and it's just so satisfying to see this bottle like slowly fill up as you're pumping. Ugh, this pump has been a lifesaver when it comes to breastfeeding. My mom told me that when she had me, she used a manual pump and that just made me so much more thankful for this electric pump, especially with a chargeable battery so that I can literally do it hands-free like on the go. It is mind-blowingly amazing. So packing all of the pump accessories into my little Ziploc bag here so that it's ready. I also like to do this to separate it from everything else in the bag so it stays a little bit cleaner. So pump parts going right into the bag along with my trusty magic pump. 
when Harrison is feeding, he's at the stage also right now that he is teething and slobbering everywhere. So there's always gonna be a couple of extra cloths lying around to make sure he's not making a mess of himself. Number one, I like to throw in a little bib. This one is from Pear, so adorable. It has little ducklings on it. I really like the terry cloth ones because I find that they absorb so much more liquid whenever he kind of like leaks out if we're feeding him. Number two is burp cloths. These things are so underrated. I cannot tell you how many swallows I received in relation to burp cloths and I wish I got more burp cloths, guys. This is one from Zara Home that I picked up. I really like it because it's a muslin material, really nice and soft on his skin. So I always pack one extra spare one in his bag in case the current one that he's using gets a little bit dirty. And then finally, a spare swaddle. We usually have a blanket or two on him already in the car seat, but I also like to pack one extra one just in case it ever gets chilly or it's too bright out. I can either drape this over the car seat or the stroller to give him a little bit more shade or throw on an extra layer onto him so that he's not too chilly. All three of these will be going into his bag. All right, just a couple more things and this bag will be packed and ready to go. One of the most important things that, ugh, I don't think I could live without, it has saved my life so many times, especially when he's been crying nonstop, is his Philips Avent Soothe Snuggle. So this is kind of like a pacifier that comes with a plush toy attached to the end of it. Now you may think like, how is this functional and how do you wash this if the toy is attached to it? Very easy, it literally just slips right off the pacifier like that. So you can wash this separately and this separately. This we like to wash with just like dish soap and then throw it into the sanitizer if we need to. And then the toy here, super easy to wash. We just throw it into the wash and then take it back out. Nothing fancy about it. I love how convenient it is to use both of these separately or together. This pacifier has been such a godsend for us recently because Harrison is in the process of sleep training right now and it has helped him really learn to self-soothe with his pacifier. So we pack this wherever we go. I have like four or five of these on the go whenever and we always make sure to throw at least two or three extras into his go bag along with one that he holds on to in his car seat or his stroller. I'm particularly fond of this one because it's great for his gum and teeth development. He's starting to teeth soon and it's nice and soft. So it's nothing hard on his overall mouth palette anywhere. And he's been using this literally since he was like a newborn and he's obsessed with it. He literally knows now, it's so cute, how to find it in his crib when he wakes up in the morning. Like I've watched him in the camera, just like reach for it and then shove it into his mouth by itself. It is so adorable just to watch all these developments happen. And you wouldn't think that the toy is as important. I think he's at the stage where he's trying to build attachments to things and he definitely knows and grabs for his little elephant whenever he sees it. I actually really like to use this to distract him when we're changing his diaper and he's on his back in the change table because he'll grab at stuff down there and I don't necessarily want him to get his hands dirty. So I just kind of like plop this on his chest and he reaches for it and he holds it and plays with it while I'm changing his diaper, which is also side note, phenomenal for his motor development. It's really getting him used to like grabbing things, whether it's with his palmer grasp or using his pincer grasp to hold onto the edges of the elephant's hands with his own fingers. It's just great the multifunctionality of this plush toy is, whether it's being used with a soothe or on its own. To keep these two quick clean, I actually like to throw the plush toy into his toy bag, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then I throw his pacifier into the bag with all of his pump bottles. And and it goes. So like I mentioned, we have a toy bag for him so that we have a plethora of things to kind of like reach from to entertain him and to help develop his motor functions whenever he needs to. All of these ones are currently from Love Every. We have like a bi-monthly subscription with them. So I'm just gonna be showing you a couple that we have at the moment. He has this black and white rubber ring that's easy for him to munch and teeth on if he needs to. We also have this black and white book where he kind of just learns how to flip the pages so that he learns how to use a book properly. He can see more than just black and white now, but I just like to use this with him still so we can learn to flip pages in a book overall. So it kind of teaches him motor development and also how to read a book when he gets a little bit older. Another favorite of mine are these little wooden ones. So there are three here. There's this one that's like two different discs that teaches him how to pass the toy from one hand to another. He's kind of like learning these connection motions at the moment. And then another favorite of mine is this bell one. He's also at the moment learning causation so that when he moves things, they make sounds. It's not too loud of a bell and it's a small enough toy for us to pack that he gets to play with. And it has these little slits on the side here where it's really easy for him to stick his fingers into and just to grab hold of it. My last favorite one, super simple. It's just a little wooden rattle. This one is really funny because he likes to shove this in his mouth right now, but he's learning to grasp this with his hands a little bit more. And it's really cool watching him just kind of like lift it up. And now that he's learned that he can make sounds with it, he'll shake his arms around the air just to make sounds. <laughs> 
love it. It's like the sweetest thing. I love watching him grow and develop. It's crazy watching babies as they change and grow over time. We have a little crinkle bag so that he knows that whenever he plays with this, it makes sounds. He's really easily distracted right now by sounds. So anytime we want to entertain him for a long time, like say I'm doing dishes or editing a video, I'll just give him one of these crinkle toys and he'll just sit there and play by himself for like 15 to 30 minutes at a time. And then the last thing we have in here is another little plush toy. This is the sloth one, it's so adorable. If we wanna switch it up between the elephant or the sloth, and just to give him variation, I like to have a secondary one around with us. So all of these ones will be going into his little toy bag and I will be packing this into his big bag to bring with us. All right, inside it goes. So that, is a fun little pack with me session for Harrison's to-go bag. I know this looks way more stuff than usual. We don't usually always pack this much stuff if we're just going out to run really quick errands. This is kind of just an essential survival kit if I'm going out for an extended period of time just so that I know that the whole day will go super smoothly and I have everything that I need. I hope you guys found this video helpful, especially if you have a baby of your own and you're unsure as to like what you need to pack in your bag or if you're expecting kids soon and you just kind of want to get ahead of it and prepare yourself and know exactly what you need. Hopefully this video gave you some inspiration and some guidance as to what to put in your everyday diaper bag when you need to go somewhere. I will of course be linking everything down below in the description bar so you guys can check it all out and let me know if you guys have any other recommendations as to what I should be putting in my bag if I missed anything. I would love to know what you guys put in that's different from mine and if you found any specific things in here that you didn't think to include yours that you found super helpful. As always if you guys want to see more of me you know where to find me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I post on both of those platforms a little bit more often than my YouTube channel, but we're going steady at the one video a week so far, so I can definitely keep that schedule on here. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.